Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Tuesday, April 25th, 2023. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Again, still stuck in the range. Not much to really add there. We have a very clear FOMC key level here from last May that has served as resistance for the last full year. That's 4186 half. We have 4200 on the edge. And you can see right here, if you, you look at 4100, that's basically been that upper portion of the market structure. Uh, the lower portion can be seen down here to about 3921. And from here to here, basically, you have one certain market structure here and here and here. And then from here to here, you have the next market structure. A little quick move here. You have a box here. Now you have a box here. You also have down here to 3800 where you have that bonus market structure down below are we about to move across this range so again can we hold 4100 and maybe make a move through into 4300 up ahead or is this going to be like every other time over the last year where we fail at 4100 and make a move back across the market structure toward the previous year's close 3868 so again still in the range still has the potential to fail tremendously and again this day right here is showing quite a bit of re resistance that day multiple squat bars here all in that area uh, watching for the day where we do get that extreme breakout move because it'll trigger uh, a significant continuation in the direction of the break all right let's take a look here at the NQ similar price action in the NQ not the best uh, in terms of market structure compared to the ES but not bad either this one right here holding off of this 12,936 level. That's the top of the FOMC, or rather the top of the key range. You have the FOMC just above it right here, especially from recent March 22nd. And then you have this box. So again, you have everything converging to that point here and a failure here. And you rotate back across the market structure to the bottom end. That's going to be somewhere between 11,750 and 12K. Given the uptrend that tech has seen this year, maybe a rejection here can thrust it into the next zone above. That's going to be 13,750 and into 14K. So what's going to happen here at this pivot edge? Do we fail or do we see uh, some sort of rejection that leads us higher? At the moment, again, a failure to hold 12,936 and you start to rotate back toward 11,750 up ahead. All right, let's take a look at crude oil. Crude oil trading 77.80 right now. The previous session with a bit of a rejection right here. Kind of a double bottom. I believe it was exactly a double bottom, tweezer bottom here, and it bounced back. Again, uh, we're, we're still looking for a move to this gap fill, which is this black dotted line right here. Got just shy of that level, but we're still trending down at the moment. Uh, no failed new high today, just an inside day, but attacking the midpoint of yesterday's session, a failure to hold that midpoint, you start opening up the potential for a continuation down. Again, the expectation is that we continue to flow lower to a gap fill in the days ahead. Let's take a look at gold futures. Gold here continuing to test the 2000 level. It's traded off that level here for the last several weeks. First as resistance, resistance, then taking it bid and support, support. Now it is stuck in a very narrow range around that level after the higher high failure. Uh, again, given the short term downtrend right now, it, any any strength could still be seen as an opportunity for bears to defend for a continuation, perhaps down to that 1940. If price starts to break back below 1960, 1940, it really starts to open up the previous year's close down below at 1830. So again, right now, this thing building a range up here at these highs, still chopping around the 2000 level, but clearly uh, a short-term downtrend right now, and any strength could be seen as a selling opportunity unless price can get back above the 2030 level up ahead. Lastly, taking a look at the YM. The YM right now, trading within a very very well-defined four-day trading range if you look at the edges of this range over the last four days 
great, great reversals, great reactions at both extremes. We're still kind of within this narrow range, which if you add it onto this one here, we've pretty much gone nowhere. Uh, for a long while, we had one day that took us, you know, from this range here up, and then that's it sideways. So we've had all sideways, one unidirectional trend day here. Uh, and we still continue to overall remain bullish within the bullish Pima trigger zone with a shot still to complete this move across the range. 34,500 to 34,550 is the edge. Will we go get that edge or have we already found kind of a short-term resistance here? Uh, this four-day range is going to be very important. If we come up above this four-day highs and fail, it could turn into a significant failed new high in a down move that leads to an outside day down and a continuation back across the range. So again, how is this going to play out up ahead? We're still uh, painfully sideways right now looking for the next expansive move. Which way it goes, we'll see, but we have the great market structure as targets. Again, the upside here between 34,500 and 34,550 where you start to rotate back toward 33k perhaps below that all right that is it for now we'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session good luck trade well and i'll see you in the trader room take care